Okay. Um, right now I have my 300 millimeter lens on in live view right now, and it's focused on something about nine feet away. Um, it's actually a dog bed, but anyways. So that's the full image, and then if you zoom in, you can see it is, well, it doesn't think it's in focus, but it is. Um, it's in autofocus right now. Uh, or, no, excuse me, it's in manual focus. So, what I'm, the point of this video is, right now, um, my, ooh, my battery's gonna die. Anyways, on the 300 millimeter lens, it has a 39 millimeter drop-in filter, and if you have that in, or if you don't have that in, it makes a difference, um, and right now it's in, and I shall take it out, right, like, let me unlock it, it's still in focus, and I'm taking it out right now. And you see it's out of focus and um, right before I took it out it was focused a lit like about a millimeter in front of the nine foot mark and now if I readjust the focus right there it is now about a millimeter behind the nine foot mark so that's the difference um, having this in or not um, Let's see, um, if you go to Ken Rockwell's review of this lens, he can explain it. I don't remember what he said about it, but I'm pretty sure all filters actually do this, but I just thought this was kind of interesting to see. Anyways, that's it. Um, I'll be updating my review of this lens because uh, what I have on right now isn't really a review. It's just like... I first thought of it. Okay, that's it.